アメリカの経済学者でマイクロソフトのエコノミストを務めるグレン・ワイル氏 SNS などのネット空間が引き起こす社会の分断に対抗するため今年台湾の元デジタル担当大臣のオードリー・タン氏と「プルラリティ」という本を共同で出版し多様性やテクノロジーの力で民主主義を進化させることを訴えていますワイル氏はある争点での投票を控える代わりに自分が重要だと考える問題では投じる票を増やすことができるなどの全く新しい投票方法である二次の投票を提案また格差の拡大を生み出している現在の資本主義をテクノロジーの力で脱私有財産へと変革するための共同的自己申告税の導入を訴えるなど今最も注目される若手経済学者の一人です Thank you very much indeed. It's my honor.、So, thank you very much. When you talk about the plurality,、yeah. uh, how do you describe the o r d e r y t o w n s role in this book or the concept of plurality? Well, in 2014, in Taiwan, there was 9% support for the government. There was an occupation of the national legislature for three weeks, not the three hours we had in the United States. And This year, they had an election 10 years later. There's 60% support for the government. It was the freest and fairest election in the world, according to many observers. So, how did we get from that experience to where we are today? We did so- something very different with those fights, with that hatred, with that division, than they did in other places. And really, this book is trying to tell you the story. Of what it is that they did that made that possible. And Audrey was one part of that, but she was maybe the most important part of it. And so we felt the responsibility to the world, given all the problems that are being faced in division throughout the world, of telling how you do that. How do you take that division, that conflict, and turn it into something productive? So Audrey Tan played a critical role on that issue. On uh, that I, I think Audrey was sort of. A catalyst. catalyst. She was the person who took all those things rather than they explode, she turned them into energy for social progress.、Mm. So, in this book, you mentioned several times the tech lash situation. The democracy and the tech companies are colliding each other on the collision course. And the, in the United States, there's a huge tech companies out there. And also, the government and the Capitol Hill try to regulate them. They're hating each other, kind of. But and also, the We've seen, as you mentioned, the riots occupied the Capitol Hill some three hours, three, four hours.、Yeah. But it was a very painful moment for the United States. But when you, just like you talk about the Taiwan, it was not that situation. What, what is the difference? What made those differences? Well, that they developed not a protest, but a demonstration. So, Audrey often says every demonstration should be a demonstration. Every protest should be a way of showing something different. And that's the approach we want to take in this moment of tech lash in the United States. That's why we're working with Frank McCourt, who's putting together through Project Liberty a bid to buy TikTok and not just to shut it down, not just to divest it, to turn it into something new and different that shows a positive vision for what social media can be. Through transparency of the algorithm, through interoperability with other systems, and through ways of designing the algorithm that don't divide people and put them in their own little private world, but connect them to others and help them form groups and a common understanding so they can work together for their common goals and for freedom.、Mm. What does X do? It doesn't show you all the different social divides, It's, it, th- that's not clear at all. But what it does do is serve to you the things that you want to hear that make you angry. And it does that so it hides the divisions and surfaces the conflict. We want to do the opposite. That's what Polis does. It shows you what all the different sides of the conversation are, and then it surfaces the things that bring people together. And because they bring people together, they generate the consensus that then can get legislation. So rather than everyone just fighting on X, It generating hatred and no actual action. This does the opposite. It shows you the divisions, 
but then surfaces the things we can take action on together. You are critical to the perspective of Sam Altman, Open Data and Founder. Could you tell us the reason why? I think the goal of AGI to build, it's like artificial omnipotence, artificial human-made omnipotence. That's literally the definition of an idol from the Bible, right? So that's not what I want. I don't want to build a machine that we all then just live off of. You know, Sam Altman often says, you create the machine, it creates abundance, and then we give out the abundance to everyone. But the, we don't want to just have material wealth. We want spiritual wealth. We want to be part of determining the direction of our future. And if we turn everything over to a machine that does everything for, from us, for us, we impoverish our spirits and we undermine our ability to together decide on the future that we want. So I instead want assistive intelligence, like glasses, very transparent. Glasses are very transparent, right? And you see what they do and they help me, but it's the glass doesn't do the seeing for me. It doesn't give me what I need. It just helps me to see. Could you, could you, could you tell us a little more about uh, why you are critical with the technocrats and also techno libertarians? Well, the technocrats, like all men, have this vision that uh, you know the machine, you build the great machine and then it does everything for you. But that undermines our sense of agency. It undermines our spiritual place in the world. It undermines our ability to determine our future and what the machines do for us. And on the other hand, the libertarians are all about individuals being freed from collective organization, but we don't want to be free from our societies. We don't want to be free from the groups that we're part of. They're what give us meaning. Our communities, our nations, our religions, these give us meaning. If we're freed from it, we're freed from anything that we have a reason to live for. So instead, what we need is to enrich those communities, to allow us to create more communities, to be more part of it, and to allow us to govern and have agency over those communities better, rather than to get rid of them or to get rid of our agency. So and the, answer, the one answer is the plurality. Yeah. I see. And uh, after, so after the presidential election, we will see the division still. This, the division will be there. And how the technology can do to heal those divisions after the election.